Today, I'm at Fish Lake, Utah, and behind me is an aspen grove named Pando, also known as the Trembling Giant. The name Pando is Latin for I spread, which would have been a pretty good mean girl's nickname back in high school, but I'm pretty sure most of my viewers are past that point. A while back, I did a video on a clonal creosote bush known as King Clone in the Johnson Valley of California in the Mojave Desert. That bush was estimated to be 11,700 years old, and in that video I mentioned Pando potentially being as much as 80,000 years old. That's a rough estimate. Pando has been determined to be one identical organism based off genetic markers discovered by several scientists about 40 years ago. It covers over 108 square acres and is estimated to be 6,600 short tons, making it the largest organism on earth by mass. Much like the bristlecone pine being the oldest single stem tree on earth, the largest single stem tree by mass is the giant sequoia, which can grow 230 to 280 feet tall and 16 to 23 feet in diameter. According to two researchers, quaking aspen regularly reproduce via a process called suckering. An individual stem can send out lateral roots that, under the right conditions, send up other stems. From all above ground appearances, the new stems look like individual trees. The process is repeated until a whole stand of what appears to be individual trees forms. This collection of multiple stems, called romets, all form one single genetic individual, usually termed a clone. One plant that actually rivals Pando as the largest organism on Earth in breadth, if not mass, is a giant marine plant discovered in the Mediterranean near Spain. It's about five miles long and it may be the oldest living organism in the world, with an estimated age of 100,000 years old. Pando was identified in 1976 by two men, Jerry Kemperman and Burton Barnes. Michael Grant and Jeffrey Litton and Yin Linhart of the University of Colorado at Boulder re-examined it in 1992 and named it Pando, claiming it to be the world's largest organism by weight. Both teams of researchers described Pando as a single asexual reproduction organism based on its morphological characteristics. In genetic sampling and analysis in 2008 by Jennifer DeWoody, Carol Rowe, Valerie Hipkins, and Karen Mock of the Utah State University and the University of Southampton confirmed the earlier analysis and increased the clone's estimated size to its current 108 acres. Though its individual stems may only be 100 to 130 years old, it's estimated that the root system is 10,000 plus years old, with some estimates saying 14,000, others saying 80,000, and even others saying that it could be as old as a million years old. There are issues with some of those estimations because there was a glacial period that came through this area, which means that the last glaciation period ended about 14,000 years ago, and unless Pando survived underneath that, it can't be much older than 14,000 years. And if it's over a million years old, it would have had to have survived three glacial periods, which is unlikely for a plant. Right now in the winter, the entire tree is a collection of stark white trunks, but in the autumn, this whole area is lit up as all the leaves turn bright yellow at the same time. Pando's future is questionable, though. There's now a fence erected around the bulk of the mass in order to keep deer and other grazing animals out, as well as human interaction, including a road cutting straight through it, is going to further increase problems for what could be one of the oldest trees on Earth. If you enjoy the video and enjoy the content, please subscribe. And as always, until next time, get lost.